So let me tell you why Adam's Detail Spray is easily our number one seller. For one, it's the one product that you can use to constantly keep your detailed car perfect. There are so many uses for the Adams Detail Spray. There are so many different times that you can just hit it with a quick mist, even touching your windshield. Any time that you need to touch something, make it perfect quickly and make it streak free, the Detail Spray is the go-to. Anytime that you wanna dry your car and add a little bit of gloss, spray it down before you dry it, again, Adams Detail Spray adds gloss, makes it slick. If you go around the car and spray it down while the whole thing's wet, it eliminates water spots or at least slows them way down. It makes that your drying towel pass over the finish easier so that when you're done drying, you actually have a shine behind and less drag, which is less scratching, and that leaves you one step closer to perfect, and one more great reason to use detail spray. Now I use it on the paint, I use it on the plastic, I use it on the glass, I literally use it on all the surfaces of the vehicle while I'm drying. Now, you wanna be quick about it, you wanna have this stuff ready to go because as soon as you rinse your car off, or your truck off, bottom line, if you have hard water, it starts to potentially dry in spots. So that's gonna buy you some time, it's gonna give you some shine. When you're using the clay bar, of course, makes the clay bar glide. When you're using detail spray and a clay bar or a clay mitt, I'm gonna go around this thing and I'm gonna go ahead and give a fine mist. And I just wanna go ahead and knock all the overspray that this car has on it right off. And it's crazy how much you can hear. I don't know if you can hear that in the audio, but man, there's a decent amount of, uh, of racket being made from that overspray and when I take a double soft by the way the double soft polishing towel the way to go when doing this type of detail spraying removing oh, yes. back to perfect I love it detail spray clay mitt this is the process that you're gonna want to use so as I'm removing polish or compound or anything I always like to keep a bottle of detail spray in my hand. And that, why is that? Well, if I come across an area that I've polished and I didn't re remove the residual and I come and hit it and it's like, whoa, I can feel that the towel hit it, sort of drag a little bit. Most people's reaction would be to rub harder. However, if I just go super light mist of detail spray and go over that, man, that just makes it beautiful. That eliminates any residual from either the polish or compound instantly and without the additional abrasion, which can, you know, if you really rub and scrub too much, it could cause, you know, marring or, or, or really fine scratches. So use a little bit of the detail spray when you're removing polishes and compounds, just keep it in your hand. It's what you're gonna use for sure. If you come across a little bit of dried product, it doesn't fly off instantly. There's so many things about the detail spray that you use all the time, but then once your car is finally detailed and it's just knocked down, you're like, oh, look at this thing, it's so nice. You drive it to the coffee shop and you get out and you're like, a little water fell out of my mirror. Let me take my detail spray here and just give it a quick one, right? Because then, as soon as it gets to perfect, you wanna keep it that way. And if you're gonna grab any one product to touch it, it's gonna be the detail spray and one of the plush towels or one of your favorite plush premium microfibers. Bottom line, once you have your car perfect, you wanna keep it that way. I typically will have one on my rack, on my table, on my other rack, or maybe I'll have a half dozen or nine bottles in the cabinet. It's one of those things that's always good to have to keep your detailed car looking perfect.